Okay, well let's um, create a new page from scratch in Dreamweaver and do some very simple formatting. So first thing I want to do is say File New. I'm going to leave it on Blank Page uh, and then on HTML and then Layout None and uh, X HTML Transitional. So all the um, defaults and then say Create and uh, first thing before I do anything else is I have to save the file so Dreamweaver will know to make correct references if I link to this file or I insert an image or something like that. So um, I've actually already messed with this before so I know I've got it in the right place which is my external hard drive and my website which I set up by, on locally I call it R Hall S and D T then I put a folder inside that called sample 2 because there's all kinds of other stuff right now on that site so I certainly wouldn't want to do like a new index page at the root level okay so um, now I'm going to name this file index.html which is a special name in with most web servers and what it means is if someone types the folder name uh, in some path and they don't type any file name then by default it will look for a file named index and it may be index.html or PHP or something else and which one if there's both of those it depends how the web server is configured but for our purposes we'll say index.html and so now if somebody types the name of that folder it will go directly to this um, file and that's why when you if you make something at your root level where it just goes they type in the name of your web page and a page shows up well that page uh, is one that was named uh, index because that's like your highest level folder Okay, so I say save, and now I'm going to make a few uh, divisions, and the way I do that, now this is a really important step, which is that I have this layout set at Classic, and by default it was on Designer when I opened it, and I couldn't find any of the folders and stuff I'm used to, so I just went to this Classic, which probably means like the old view, and so uh, that's what I use, and that's what I'm going to use in this tutorial, so you probably should change that. So now I'm going to go to layout and it has these different layout things and I'm going to get this draw AP div. That means an absolute place division which is a uh, division is an HTML thing. Uh, absolute placement is a CSS thing. But in any case so what it means for your purposes is that you can create an area on the page which is demarcated as something like this is the title we'll call it. And so it's helpful to rename it. So I go down here and I in the properties box and I type title for the name. And um, so now I'm going to put something in that box. And the reason that you make this uh, box is because you can move it around. And since it's absolute positioning, that means on the web it will be exactly where you put it. And uh, it won't move based on other code in the document. So I take this image, which is um, over here, top logo. I drag it in. It asks for alternative text, and this is very important for accessibility. So I know that it says Richard Hall, so I'm just going to say Richard Hall. Click OK. So it's in the middle of this um, property, and I'm going to make this property thing littler. So I can actually drag on the side of it, make it about uh, the size of this actual image. And now I can get this little handle moving around. Now this is a tiny little title, but we'll say just for our purposes we wanted a tiny little title. And then uh, we might want a menu. So then we get an absolute position div and we put it over here where a menu might be. Whoa, I don't want it that big. And still too big. I'll drag it up here and then in here I might type links for example now first of all let's name it so it'll be meaningful uh, menu and then we'll type uh, page one and uh, maybe I'll make it a little bullet point I guess and <clears throat> sort of like word processing controls down here to some extent page two page three and I can turn these into links which I'll show you how to do later and um, and you can put other divisions. Of course, an important one might be like uh, content. So, put another thing here, and I say, this is my main my main content, and leave it like that. And we'll just say 
save make sure everything's saved and now I might want to do something like let's say we want the background of this and you can go on and on with the CSS styles and stuff but I want the background color uh, of this division to be um, this similar color so I, I go down and click on background ground color and I bring the uh, little eyedropper up here and it makes it that same brown color I could do the same thing with the main content I could say background color um, I could put something like now if you start playing with CSS styles it means that these are style elements that have to do with this division that I've selected so I go up here and I click on CSS styles and I have current which means the current one selected and there's already a whole bunch of CSS it's it's assigned that I didn't even know about put the height at 438 um, it's uh, pixels the left exact position the position is absolute the top is 146 pixels away from the side the width etc Z index just means um, if two elements overlap the one with the higher in Z index number will be shown over the top of the other okay so let's say I want to put a border around one of the 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 divisions and so I go to add property I say border and I know one of the options would be solid so now there's a border around that guy I could also say border color and I can change that to let's say this green and now it has a border that's green. Okay, so that's just kind of a simple way to lay out a page to show you something about how you create a page from scratch. I'm going to save it, and just for the record, just to show you how this works, I'm going to go to this index.html file on my local drive, and I'm going to put the file onto the web. So I click this Put button. Uh, put dependent files. Now what it's saying is if there's images and stuff, do you want us to put those over there? And I'm going to say yes. Um, and what that means is because it's referencing an image and the HTML file doesn't have the image in it. So it'll, it won't show up unless you move the image too. So that's what it's asking about with with references like that. Okay, so let's say we go to um, mst.edu slash tilde r hall now there's a folder we called it sample 2 and it should go directly to that index file since I named it index and in fact it did so there's the file on the web alright so that's how to create a simple file um, simple page from scratch